Hey, hello everyone, welcome to the course. And in this video, we are going to set up our project to use the Firebase ML Kit for the face detection as well as the expression detection and the eye detection, right? So, head back to Android Studio and let's start by creating a new project. So, start new Android Studio project and from here select the empty project because our project is going to be empty, single screen, and we are going to have a camera, right? So, we are, we are going to develop it by our own custom camera. So click on next and here we need to write the name of our project let's say it as uh, expression detection yeah and let's change this package name to let's say as Udemy Udemy right and let's change the path of our project uh, I will keep it in Android Studio Project. Yeah, and here is the, here is the name of the So this is my part of my project, and we are going to develop it in Kotlin language. And we need to select minimum SDK. What should be? Let's give it as Lollipop, and let's click on Finish. Now project has been successfully created, as you can see. Uh, first, let's change this uh, structure to from Android to Project. And now our app looks like something this. Uh, this are our directories of our project. In Java, here is our package name form, Odemi post, and the expression detection, and this is our main activity, right? And the resources and layouts, we are having our main XML file where we are going to put our layout, right? So this is our project. Now, uh, once it has been successfully synced and our project is ready to do further steps, right? So let's go to Chrome and open your firebase account which we are going to uh, use in this project so just go to the website as firebase.google.com and click on go to console and here i am already having some of my firebase projects so you can uh, create one new one or else you can select from here as well so for now uh, you just need to go back to your uh, Android Studio project and it's still uh, syncing my project so yeah now just go to tools and firebase and from here we are going to integrate the firebase into our Android project sometimes it takes time to display such things yeah, so these are all the features of the Firebase which you can use inside your Android application. So let's start an authentication. Let's start integrating, uh, connecting our project to the Firebase. Click on connect to Firebase. Once you do that, it will show you the dialog box from where it will list all the uh, your Firebase projects. You can select one of them or you can create new Firebase project with the name uh, anything you enter here. So I am going to use the existing project that I am having. So my project name is Notify App, right? So this is my trial project. So I am using this. You can use any another if you want. So click on Connect to Firebase. Once you click on that, it will uh, connect your project to that Firebase. And it may take some time for this. Depends on your internet connection. Yeah. So as you can see, it shows me connected, which means that your Firebase, pro your this project has been connected to Firebase. Now you need to uh, you need to add dependencies into this your uh, this uh, Android Studio project. So for now, close this assistant section. Go to your Firebase. This is my project, which I am going to connect to my Firebase. Go to this, and you need to go to settings. That is project settings. And come down here you can see uh, the list of projects that is connected to your firebase projects this is a package name of all that projects so what you have to do is you need to click here on add app and select Android from here and here you need to enter the package name so just go to your Android studio go to manifest and here you will find the package name of your project just copy it and go to Chrome paste it here and Yeah, so it says that your uh, application or a project with this package name has already connected to your Firebase project. So let's see if it has already connected or not. 
if you see here our package name already exists here so it means that our android your studio project has already been connected to your firebase project so just go to that project and to integrate this firebase uh, features into our android project mean to download json file from here so click on that now once it has been downloaded go to that file and just copy this file from here click on copy and close this and go to your android studio project and you need to close this all stuff from here and go to app directory and paste it here and click on ok once you paste this uh, google uh, service.json file you can see it here and then you can again expand your project to so main activity now this is our uh, .json file which allows us to use our Firebase account and provides us the authentication to use that Firebase services, right? Now I think our project has been set up uh, to use the Firebase services. Now it's the next step we need to add all our dependencies which we are going to use. So first we are going to add our Firebase dependencies. So the uh, Let's go to Firebase and as you can see here, uh, these are all the features that we are having such as machine learning, functions, hosting, storage. So we are going to use machine learning that is ML kit for our project for the face detection, smile detection, eye detection and all other stuff, right? So just click on that and here you can see just get started. Basically these machine learning features are currently in the beta mode but we can use that and it works fine and just click on go to docs and it will take you the firebase documentation so click on your android and it will show you all the documentation related to android right so as you can see now it, uh, it will show you the steps how you can create the firebase account and how can how you can add this dependency into your project right so just go down so here we are having some dependencies right firebase analytics firebase bomb so we need to add these dependencies into our project so for now i had already put some dependencies into uh, my notepad file so i'll copy just from here and i'll paste it into our project so we are currently we are having firebase two dependencies of firebase for the first one is the ml vision that is version of 24 and second one is firebase face model which will this uh, allows us to detect the expressions of the face so this one is the dependency now we are having two dependencies of our Firebase, uh, right? Now next we are going to add our Google Play services, which are going to help us to detect the faces. So we'll name it as Google Face Play services and paste it here. And we are having Vision service as well. Now next, if you had a look of our application in my intro video then our application looks something like this and here as you can see we are having this uh, expression section as well which takes our current face expression right and it swaps automatically so to create this view we are going to use third party library which one is this smiley rating which is created by Sujit Khanna right so we need this library so what we are going to do is we are just going to copy its dependency from here and we are going to name it as smiley and paste it here so this library will help us to create that uh, this uh, this part, right? Now one more library we are going to use that is called as event bus. So this library will help us to handle the callbacks on its screen, right? So this is uh, event bus library which is created by Green Robot, and you can just go to this link and just copy its dependency from here and paste it into here. So these are the four different types of libraries which we are going to use to develop our project, right? So once you involve all this library into a project, uh, one more thing we need to add that is our compatibility. So uh, while installing this library, after running this project, we may get some errors for the uh, Java version issues, so compatibility issues. So we are, we are going to add this compile options which help us to resolve that issue so just add these two lines of code and then sync your project now once you sync your project your project will be set up and ready to use machine learning features of firebase 
it may take some time depends on your internet connection so just keep calm and wait for some time until it completes its download now once your project has been successfully synced as you can see it will show you it's successful just minimize this bottom console and close this screen and just run your project i am running my project on the external physical my for smartphone but you can also run it on your emulator so just connect that and run your project now i will close this app and my new project will be here as you can see our project is up and running and i click on install which allows the application to run on my smartphone and as you can see uh, we can see the empty screen here so basically we have not done any ui changes in our application so it shows the empty screen with the label at the center so it means that our project has been successfully uh, set up to use the ml kit of firebase and from our next video we can start developing our face detection services so for this tutorial this is enough and let's meet in next video